For thousands of years, human beings have used gestures to greet each other and establish social ties. Signs that have evolved over time and vary from one culture to another. The first signs of greeting date back to antiquity. In ancient Egyptian civilizations, people greeted each other by joining hands in front of the chest, symbolizing respect and equality between individuals. In Greece, the greeting consisted of raising the right hand open as a sign of friendship, and the Romans used the gesture of extending the right hand to show that they were not carrying a weapon, thus establishing a sense of mutual trust. This is a meaning that is retained, being without hostility. On the other hand, the handshake between two separate people has not always been a sign of greeting. Originally, this gesture appeared in ancient Greece around the 5th century before Christ in order to seal a contract to make an alliance or marital union. However, this gesture is not insignificant and has the same symbolism as the salute. Indeed, by untying one's hand and shaking the others, one shows that one does not carry a weapon in one's fist and this contributes to a climate of trust. In the centuries that followed, the Romans perpetuated the custom while going a step further. As assassinations were commonplace in Rome, it became customary to clasp the entire forearm to make sure that the other party did not surreptitiously slip a dagger into the sleeve of his robe. It is only in the Middle Ages that the Code of Chivalry would truly institute the handshake as a sign of greeting, but always with the aim of creating a relationship of peace and trust. It was at this time that the handshake became exclusively right-handed because all knights were trained to be right-handed, a more practical and Christian common rule for combat. This practice was therefore very strongly linked to Christian chivalry. This explains why it is primarily a practice of the Western and European world. Even if there are many other ways of greeting, it is universal due to globalization. In conclusion, greetings have a long history dating back to antiquity and they continue to evolve to fit our ever-changing society. Whether they originate in the West or in other cultures around the world, they are an integral part of a common heritage, transcending borders and cultural barriers and reminding us that, despite our differences, we all share a fundamental desire to connect and bound. So, the next time you meet someone, don't hesitate to greet them with respect and kindness.